What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video and I'm a couple days late on this one. I was kind of hoping they would patch this game and maybe things would get a little bit better before releasing the first video, but they haven't and this is definitely the worst reviewed game so far in 2023. So it's rough on the gameplay side and the performance side. So let's get into it. And starting with the properties of the game here, I didn't force any compatibility for this. However, I did try all the different compatibility layers for different versions of the OS here. The only way I could get the game to work was in beta. For stable and preview, no matter what uh, Proton layer I would use or compatibility layer, the game would hard crash, wouldn't work, and the Steam Deck would restart. On beta, I've been able to at least launch and run the game and haven't had any crashes yet. Getting into the game and taking a look at the settings, I had to pretty much stick with low full screen 800p, no vSync on here, no texture streaming, which seemed to help a little bit. FSR2 on quality, you could mess with these however you want. Dynamic resolution was causing me a bit more stutter than I liked on top of the already existing stutter, so I stayed away from that. So just getting into the game and taking a look here, we're gonna use this spot just as a, a small comparison before we move on into more gameplay in the low settings. But you can see here, there are some areas of the game that actually with frame times and everything else run pretty decently, utilize the GPU and push things there. So pretty clean frame times and not too bad for FPS just in this one spot. Now, if we switch over to medium here, we'll lose about five FPS, which is what I would expect. And as I move around, of course, the FPS will go lower than when we were over in the low preset. And when you get into other areas of the game, that's where this really does not work. And you wind up in the twenties more than you want to. And if I switch over to high here, of course the game looks even better, but we lose another five FPS just sitting still. And again, if you get into the game, as soon as you leave this area, you're, you're gonna suffer. I even was down to like 18 FPS uh, at one point and then bouncing back up into the 30. So definitely sticking with my low, unfortunately here, uh, with FSR on quality and just going with it for that, just to get the best performance I could get at the game for now, for the most part. And it's just a buggy, stuttery mess of a game with a lot of, seems like compiling and loading issues for areas and a lot of common issues we do see with games, but definitely some of the worst when it comes to this game. And like cutscenes like this will really cut out on you and uh and give you trouble i have had it crash other decks but not this one going into cutscenes. so that's been interesting with different performance on different decks and for the most part you're going to see major issues where you'll go down to the teens and bounce back up and once an area loads in you'll be all right and be in the 30s and 40s a lot of the time but there are just many many instances where you're suffering in performance i don't know how much work they'll put into this game post launch here how many patches we're gonna get or fixes i know with how the game's been received and how rough the reviews are i'm not sure what the support's going to be looking like going forward i almost didn't cover the game it's been so bad but i figured it's one i've really been looking forward to and i'm very disappointed that it is in the shape that it's in both gameplay wise and performance wise so I did want to go ahead and cover it here on the deck. But as you can see here, even in an area like this, once everything's loaded in and working properly, performance can sit nicely in the 40s with good frame times with the settings. It's just the many issues of load in and compiling and dropping frames. Now, if we go ahead and cap things to 30 FPS, I think that might be a pretty good idea for this game for now. It is fine at 30 FPS considering the camera angle and the gameplay that's involved here. It's mostly walking, running, and climbing that's just about all that you do go to different places collect things so far i haven't gotten into anything major in about four hours of gameplay it's been walking running and climbing listening to a bunch of story and stuff like that but you can see the 30 fps does help hold things a bit better and uh, i played a good little bit that way and i think for battery life much less wattage used and for the performance that might be the way to go there but this game is certainly in rough shape. I can't recommend grabbing it, unfortunately, both due to the pretty rough, janky gameplay and the horrible performance uh, right now. But I want to cover it here so that you guys would be aware. But anyways, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.